Okay, I made a pretty big mistake on my airplane, on my wings. Thankfully, I caught it, and I'm glad I caught it when I did. Okay, so I've been saying this whole time that on when you attach the wing, I'm sorry, when you attach the rib gussets, uh, or the, you know, the rib gussets to the ribs, you use the uh, aluminum small head rivets. That is not true. The only time you use those small head rivets, according to Tom, is when you're doing the um, aluminum sheet. So if, I look, if you look here, the aluminum sheet right here on the top, that's the aluminum rivets. So there's a bag of 120, and it's called the, um, there, let me see if I can get the bag. Oh man, I'm just kicking myself and I'm embarrassed because um, the directions say SS42, stainless steel 42 rivets. You have to use this, the SS42 for that. And uh, I did not do that, but it's really a simple fix, thankfully. And what I did here is I drilled out, you have to drill out one at a time, and I went down through the line, I think you can see that, and I put in uh, the SS42s, the stainless steel rivets. Uh, so glad I caught it now because the, the bottom line is is that the aluminum rivets the small head rivets do not have any strength so you don't want your ribs coming off in flight not that that would probably happen but um, you don't want to take the chance right so stainless steel is strong put the stainless steel rivets in the SS 44s go into the spars that's what I did and the SS 42s go in now I know this doesn't mean anything to you guys unless you're building uh, you know an Excalibur maybe it's a different rivet for whatever aircraft build you're doing But I hope you join me in building an Excalibur because it is a lot of fun It isn't super hard, but man oh man you got to follow the directions and you know look at the pictures and things like that And I must have just I don't know what I what I did to miss it, but I did so um, What do you do so I just wanted to shoot a quick video I know I'm embarrassed, but you know again you caught it right away and, and it's, um, it's not a big deal. So if I go back over here and show you what I'm doing here, again, I'm drilling out, I don't know if it's gonna show up in the video here, but um, I'm drilling out all these you know, holes one at a time, and it's basically just, it's gonna be four holes per rib. So it's not the end of the world, 15 ribs, or 13 ribs, right, because I already did the sheet, that's two of them. So 13, you know, times, Whatever, public math. Don't make the same mistake I did. See you later. All right guys, I, um, I was able in about 30 minutes to drill out all the aluminum rivets that I put into the ribs, in the rib gussets, and it didn't take long. And I did one, I basically did this one first, I think I mentioned this one first, and then I did um, the one in the back, and then I did this one, and then I did the one on the back that's closest to uh, the, the leading edge. Now I'm working on basically the fairing. This is our, not a fairing, but it's, um, it's a spar to wing tip gusset. And it's supposed to help protect, you see the gap between the two inch tube and then this tube. So what this is gonna do is make it so that the, um, it's gonna go basically like that and then get stainless steel rivet. It's just barely on the edge. Tom said about a half an inch to five eighths of an inch, something like that. And then it's just gonna get four rivets on the top to, um, make it smoother for put the fabric on so it's not such a big transition between the big tube and the small tube. So I'm gonna rivet that and I'll get back with you. Hey guys, um, so I redesigned, talked to Tom, redesigned the um, uh, spar to wingtip gusset. And I know it doesn't look very good right now, but it's actually on here really well. Um, I, I have some pictures I'll put in the video so you can see the progress that I did. I, I took pictures instead of the video just so I could get through it. But basically what I did is I cut the, um, when it starts off, it starts off like this. This has plastic on it, but the sheet's like this, right? So it's been around here and I just cut it so that it has, so it's big on this side and it can wrap almost all the way around. There's a gap here. I put, or a gap here, I put a rivet in here and I put two rivets on one on the top of the sheet 
if I can film it top of the sheet bottom of the sheet here so that kept it on there and then I tapered it back and then I put one rivet in the front right here so um, it's on there really solid now and this is all cosmetic there's nothing structural about this so just FYI and then I covered it with duct tape so just like you would do all the other gussets so there's this isn't going to be exposed right this is going to be in the inside of the wing so um, if you look on the outside it looks awesome right so it's from here down to I can tape it up there make sure it's smooth but um, as long as there's a, a smooth transition from there to there and there's a little bit of a gap on the bottom I guess but it's not too bad but uh, so this is going to be covered with fabric and it makes a nice taper and then it's again all cosmetic you don't have to have it and then I'll put the bottom sheet on or the bottom cover first and then wrap the top cover and then you have the six inch finishing tape that's going to go all the way down the leading edge so that'll help kind of mask it as well I know it's not the greatest design um, but it, it'll work it's functional it's on there really solid and I'm going to do the back similar to the front because I tried to put it on there and I, I kept popping the rivets and those were stainless steel rivets so I don't know what I was doing wrong but um, I'm just being honest with you guys you know this is the real deal the real project and sometimes there's tweaks and modifications obviously I wouldn't do anything that's structural I wouldn't change from the design but Tom said yeah do whatever you need to secure it on there so um, it's working and I think that's going to be a much smoother transition and I'll do the back the trailing edge one and I think from there I'm going to secure the um, I think these aren't called outboard channel braces these are called outboard ribs like the small ribs or something like that I think Tom called them so um, but they're similar to the channel braces on the on the front side you can see those over there so I'll just secure those with rivets and um, again it's not structural it's just holding holding this rib so that it doesn't go in like Brand X does and that'll help keep it supported up on there so um, I want to make sure it's straight and it does look like it's kind of bowed out a little bit so I'll, I'll just fix those braces to where the rib is straight and secure those I'll probably do that next and then do the trailing edge spar to wingtip gusset and then after that I think I'm going to be looking at uh, the ailerons, maybe covering them fabric and install, installing the um, uh, lock nuts first and then covering with fabric, taping it up and then working on the um, push pull tubes. I I'm still waiting. One, two, three.